What's up, everybody? Ooh, that music's hot. Welcome, everybody, back to another episode of the Dash Series. It is I, Drendy, all day in the place to be. Here with another episode of the Dash Series. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of episodes with the teams that are in playoffs. Uh, I'll have some more coming soon. But for right now, I'm doing another follow-up episode of a previous guest. So without further ado, he's your friend, he's my friend, he's everybody's friend. Welcome back to the place to be OBS. What's up, my guy? What's up, Dre? How's it going? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Uh, I'm in playoff mode. I'm excited to see what's going to come out, what's going to be the outcome of these matches. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be loaded. What do you think of the matches so far, quarterfinals that went on? I, th- I think they've been pretty good so far. I mean, you know, minus the 4v4 redo that had to happen. You know, I'm I'm happy about Onyx making it further. You know, team name is going to be the most difficult opponent that they've faced this entire season. So they have the shot and they have the opportunity to do it. It's just whether or not they're going to do it. So you think Onyx, you're, you're rooting for Onyx then? Hell yeah, that's family. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's hard to not see team name winning this whole thing, man. They got they they've been yeah. pretty much unstoppable compared and un, 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 uh, unless you talk we're talking about D in the in the picture, but yep. they've been pretty unstoppable. And I see them unless unless they destroy themselves, they they're the ones to beat. Yeah, unless there's like some inner falling out amongst team name, they're gonna take the title, no doubt. I mean, you know, obviously, I wish it was Team D or Onyx or other taking the title, but. You know, if it, if Team Name's gonna do it, then they're gonna do it, and that's fine by me. I'm not gonna argue about it. And then I've also heard rumors that people think it's gonna be a Team Name versus Arc Finals. What do you think about that? If that comes out, if that comes to be. See, the thing is, Other has the opportunity. They could beat Arc if they really, really do like get off their ass and they really, you know, pay attention and focus and get in the game and get in the zone. But otherwise, it's most likely gonna be a Team Name versus Arc thing. And what do you think is going to happen if that, if that outcome happens, if we see those finals? I mean, we've already seen it once this season. Team name beat Ark. Uh, it's it's a tight, it's a close match. I think Ark's going to take Waterway if that's what's going to happen. And then, you know, team name has a very strong payload strat, so they're going to take it. And then control point's really all it is. Unless we're going to do the whole seven game thing like we did last season, team name versus D. Let's talk about it. Should we do it? Should we do it again? I mean, I liked it. I, mean, I think it was interesting. I, I really, I really did like it. I, th- I think though, it, it should be either a payload waterway or a payload quarry, like like one and then one and then one and then one, payload domination, payload domination. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, and then, you wouldn't want back to backs payloads. Yeah. That's 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 yeah, that's horrible in my yeah. opinion. You want and you some variety. You can't even. In- oh yeah, of course you can't even include the new maps in there. So, I think it would be best if we did that and then domination uh control point determines you know the final final win because that's four matches best three out of five it, in most respects it makes sense um i think we did five maps that's four out of we did five maps because yeah they, they each won two and then they went to control point at the end yeah yeah um, that'd be interesting if it happens again like that. That was an mm-hmm. awesome ending. That was it made it, like even though the maps went by kind of quick, uh, some oh, of yeah. them did. It, it made interesting finals. But we also got undercards this 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 season. Mm-hmm. We got uh, oh, yeah. sprinter sprinter finals to see who's gonna be top of sprinter uh, tier, and we're also gonna yeah. have uh, walker finals to see who's gonna be top of walker tier. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I th- I don't know if I'm competing. My team's competing in that one. We're ranked 29th. We dropped from 19th. But we're we're fine and we're content with, you know, the drop. We just know that we have to come back and kick some more ass and do better than we did last season. What are your thoughts about the MMR and the whole situation behind that? Uh, the MMR is a skewed system. I still believe that rank points should still somewhat play a role. I think if we went back to a win-loss ratio, I think that would be a big thing that matters i mean yes mmr technically did come into calculations last season but only during the playoffs and and you know mmr was so skewed everybody got a boost this that and the third it was all over the place honestly i mean if they want to go with it just please for the love of god fix it and simplify the formula like that's all i ask of the board or anybody working on it for that matter because you know it, it 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 was an up and down you know, whole time over the past couple months, month, two months, however long it's been dealing with the controversy. 
So I mean, too many, it's really whatever. Too many to number and talk about. Like, mm -hmm. it's, if we we started yeah. down that path, it would take the whole rest of the show. But with that yeah, being said, uh, I think I understand why they stuck to their guns, and I mm -hmm. I, 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 I I I understand too. I probably would have done the same. But sometimes it's at one point or another you just gotta be like, all right, we, we this is this is bad. And oh, we, yeah. we gotta we gotta either abort mission or 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 just plow through, and they decide the yeah. latter. Uh, with that being said, like you know me and my setup, I, I've gotten very you know you know I've gotten some compliments on my graphic setups this season. I've gotten some you know mm -hmm. some complaints. With that being said, is uh, good news is is if I come back next season, I'll definitely have a different setup. <laughs> I'll definitely take yeah. Care, take care. I mean, from from what it used to be back in back when I joined in Alpha Five, you know, yeah, that that whole setup and you as a character and a entertainer has changed for the entire league for the better. You know, some people might not like it, but they just can't deal with the fact that somebody wants to be themselves in the league. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, but I understand yeah. the people coming in, uh, they're used to a certain standard and I mm -hmm. would never be that reached I would never meet that standard, but I could definitely try to adjust so we're both happy. And if mm -hmm. we're not both happy, yeah. then we both have a decision. Either you leave or I and I'm always yeah. the bigger man willing to leave. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, like no. If if it comes down to drama or anything, league wise, etc., I'm I'm gonna take the latter and not go towards that person's decision. You know, because it's all about taking responsibility for yourself yep. rather than making a childish action in a certain situation. Exactly, and especially if 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 the, this like more people are leaning the other way, then hey, I'm never gonna stand in the way yeah. of uh, of you know everybody's opinion. If more people mm -hmm. lean that way, yeah. then I guess I'm different. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody's opinion. It literally, it's a known human fact. Everybody has opinions. Everybody is owed to their own opinion of their own choice. Some agree with others. Some don't. And it doesn't matter either way if we do or we don't so long as we can all come to one agreed decision yeah. in the situation exactly well i mean that's that's the drama with mmr and i'm with you man i i wish it would just been win loss because it's easier mm -hmm. to account for it's easier to see and do but it is what it is you know they decided to mm -hmm. go another way they were trying to try something new try something different easier what well, was supposed to be easier in the beginning i think it was supposed to make things yeah. easier end up making things hard because of all the adjustments and the growing pains that happen with a new system and a new setup yeah of but we, course we still we still appreciate I, mm -hmm. I, and i'm sure they felt a lot of the love after all the hate that people after you know they complain a lot they really do appreciate all the time and effort that's taken on this stuff yeah, I mean, minus whatever's happened controversy-wise, whatever arguments I've had with people in the Dash League topic biting my tongue the entire time, I respect the board and what they've done, you know? They're the reason that this league is pretty much running the way it is. I mean, whether or not I agree and or disagree to that, Dre, is, it's, it's obvious my own opinion and my own thought process in the situation. Ah uh, yeah, no, I get it, man. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, yeah, I'm a big proponent of disagreeing with people and still being able to, <clears throat> to be cool and civil and work with people. It's, it's, yeah, that's of what, I think th uh, the way polarization is going around in the world, that's making it hard for people to understand that even though we have different views, we can still get along and still do yeah. work together. It doesn't have to be that bad. Mm -hmm. um, it's when you use, uh, you know, huge words and and and. and uh, put people in places and stuff like that that they start not feeling like we're working together anymore but neither let's not talk about that no more let's talk more about yeah. dash league and, and playoffs yeah. so and and what's been going on man so how how, how do you think your team did, did this season i mean you know i'm i've i've set up one hell of a story for myself in the whole team realm you know i i i, I retired abruptly both because of IRL problems and the fact that I just really wasn't feeling it. Okay. And it took me a long time to admit it to myself. So, you know, I came back and I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start aliasing for a while and I did. You know, I kinda caught the feel for the game again. I'm still in love with this community. I have been for a year now, you know. And I you know, I I put myself out there. I put myself on the open market. I reached out to a bunch of different captains and i believe it was boy Doy that reached out to me or i reached out to him and he you know really caught my attention the energy supernova had 
you know the 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 fun that we have is is it's incredible you know we're a great group of guys you know all us based so we don't have to do with time zone issues you know i i love my players you know i i treat them like family i treat them like they're my brothers and you know i i sacrifice myself on the field every single time we play together you know yeah that's dope and that's 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 cool when you can find a great group of people that you met you blend with and you meld with because mm-hmm. i tell people that all the time and dashley when i talk to them about teams it's like you know it's not about winning and losing it's about finding a great team of players that you get along with and yeah have fun Obvi- i mean obviously everybody wants to win we don't want to lose i went on a three-game winning streak last season including that incredible match against lq2c i mean awesome. that was that was the greatest match of my entire career by far with i i only missed two seasons off of playing an entire season so uh, you know, I'm I'm really happy about that. You know, I learned a lot from back when I used to play for Onyx, where it's like it doesn't matter the strength of our opponent. Every single time you play, you're throwing yourself to the wolves. You know, my first ever league match was against UNSC. Literally, Classic and Percent threw me at them. Yeah, a brand new rookie, fresh out the, the whole, fresh the whole, out the, the Dash whole, League hand. The whole lineup that that match was uh, new people. No, it was it was the I don't want to say the B squad, but um, it was fresh people. For the LQ2C match or the Onyx match? The uh, UNSC match. Yeah, it was me, Mando, Fourth, Megarar, Blot Inc., and I think maybe Barrel. I might have had one of those guys off, but, you know, we, we, we're we all friends. We still all play together when we see each other online. You know, we all talk. I got Mando on my team now. You know, I've got, I've got some stuff cooking, man. I've got my players working together, playing together every single day as much as they can. You know, creating that synergy, having each other's back when we need it. And how do you think the whole league has come along in the long in, in the time we've had it? It's been what about two oh, years now, man. maybe. Yes, I've I've been around since technically infancy of the league. You know, it's it's improved. I'm very impressed with where it has come. Everybody from. 40 to vader to elite all the you know og clans and teams like my 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 co-captains yeet kid and and uh boy doy they're both uh 40 kids so i mean they've been around longer than i have they have more experience than i have you know they've been around a lot longer so you know i look up to them when i need it but i think this league has improved a lot and i'm very excited to see where it goes next I think what could help us if we get, you know, maybe another sponsor or two, if we reach out to people, you know, look and weigh our options and what we're what we're doing as a league, you know, because if if we can get more sponsors behind us, then we can become more popular. And you know, I I want this this game. I guess it's crazy, but like Twitch and Overwatch and all these games like Minecraft, Halo, Call of Duty have their own like not fan meetups per se but well yes but like like places where people who like the game can come together and really unite and yes. get along and build community i think that would be great for us as a as a whole in real life but that's obviously going to take time yes irl of course yeah yeah like a dasher day let's get together yeah and have a dash everybody day and everybody gets together and we could even have a, a some sort of tournament live in real life at this convention oh yeah that would be cool and no then, like i i was I was brainstorming with CT when we were in a lobby together. We were talking about all the merch that we have and and the specialty of it and stuff like that, you know. But we had brought uh, DasherCon into idea of like like you could have like special things from each player that's like well known in the community and well respected, like their own special item. Like we jokingly said, we could take Reko's actual headset that he wears and put it on display as like. This is like what he used to win the MVDs and the championships and put them okay. under his belt. Okay. And it still has a little bit of sweat on it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I was going to say, if you're talking about merch, uh, uh, I'm the one that makes all the merch. And I'm not planning on making merch for a whole convention. Fuck that. <laughs> no. I mean, I've got the most merch out of anybody in the I entire community. I know you community. do. I wanted to get into that, man. What made you want to buy so much debt? Because the merch just came out of like... <laughs> I had a shirt that I made just for myself and mm-hmm. people wanted to get it and then it just grew like yeah. wildfire. So that's just completely, I mean, completely grown. I've always yeah, I've always found teams that I can I can thrive in. You know, I have oh, let's see, I've got a custom one of one reco jersey that nobody else has. I have you know, I've got what, four six sweaters, one shirt. <laughs> I just bought a, I just bought another sweater. 
you know like i have so much love for this league support for everybody in it i'm, I'm gonna put all my time and effort especially as a player yeah. i have to represent oh, i'm with you man i'm, I'm all about brand loyalty <laughs> Yeah, I have the most. I have the unofficial, official, most dapper dasher award yep. from Lat himself. So I mean, it's, it's pretty fun. This this game, this community is amazing. Um. Yo, yeah, that's 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 crazy. Like, uh, I'm I'm serious. It's crazy how much of the merch that mm -hmm. we put out there, you get, you get. But we we got yeah, we gotta get you some more stuff, man. We gotta get you some. more Oh stuff. hell yeah, man! I've got. Uh, I've got three things from Team Other. I've got an Onyx sweater. I've got an Onyx poster. I've got Did a champion. Did you get the lanyard? No, but I do have the uh, holographic um, stickers. The ones from the championship last season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even though you didn't win, we ended up sending you some because I know you're connected to Team B. And I was like, mm -hmm. I got to send some for LBS too. Oh yeah, of we course, gotta, man. We gotta, we gotta get you some decals though, and some some lanyards and some stickers. And I magnets. know, I know, man. I got I gotta get a lot of stuff. You know, I've got my poster hung up. But see, the good thing about all the other stuff is, is it's free. You don't have to pay for it, man. You paid for enough stuff. Uh, yeah. Most of the I want to say crap, but it's it's merch. It's merch. Dash your gear. Not crap. <laughs> my family. Everybody in the league is like family to me. Yeah. It's there might be some. There might be some bad apples. Some aunts and uncles I don't like, but otherwise we're all family. And, it, and and the thing about doing that is is uh and the and the reason i felt the need to get that done was because i wanted people to feel like they're part of a big league i wanted everything that we've done always to feel big mm -hmm. time to feel fun to feel you know like like different for unique original even if it is yeah you know, let's just do our own thing and try to like you know yeah because like if you if you really look at it most like pro leagues for games and stuff like don't have their own merch I, I don't think I've seen personalized Call of Duty merch from the company for, you know, people to physically buy to represent their favorite team, stuff like that. I mean, that's what we're doing. We have our own merch for our own teams. And if that's the team you like, then you buy that merch if you have the money and you represent it. Yeah. Every damn day. And shout out to Triangle Factory for allowing us to do that because, you know, they could of course. be like, yo, you can't do that. And they, they definitely, I mean, they haven't yeah. said to do it, but they haven't said not to do it. So that's cool, man. Yeah. And shout out to Triangle Factory for putting so much money worth, you know, and time into this game. I mean, they've really busted their asses to give us this this game. Like, this piece that we all love and we all play together as a community. Have you seen their uh, office? No, I don't believe oh, I have. man. It, it, they have a beautiful... Every time I see their office, I'm just like, what is it like living the dream, man? What is <laughs> it like? If I sent you a photo of my office, you would be depressed. <laughs> I follow. I think I've. I think I've seen your. Um. I think I've seen your setup on Instagram before. It's oh, pretty nice. The studio is cool. Like yeah, the studio is on top of my like my normal job, like where I work at. Like oh. it's, it's, a, it's a warehouse. So it's. A, yeah, the studio is cool. <laughs> but I was just telling some, I was just telling somebody the other day. Uh, if you spend multiple hours in the studio, these lights start to get to you. <laughs> you gotta turn on the white <laughs> lights and give yourself some sunlight. Start to give point. you a headache. Yeah. I mean, only Dash League has made me realize, like, like once you get to the fifth, sixth hour in the studio, these lights are blinking. You start, <laughs> you start losing your mind a bit. <laughs> you start seeing some things. What do you think about all the money that's going to, to, to the Dash League? Like, like I think the money was good, but I would have preferred it mm -hmm. been spent on on merch, on, yeah, on, on on goods, on on prizes, mm -hmm. on instead of giving. I it, agree. Handing it over to like you know as a prize pool. I understand. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say I understand why we want our players to get paid. I mean, obviously the end goal to to uh, to a lot of people is the money at the end of the road, rather than the camaraderie, the 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 fellowship, the teamwork that you can have with your your friends. But I mean, I think I think if you're gonna give people the money, I think the the captains should. Well, obviously it's it's a complicated idea, but you should figure out how to evenly distributed amongst your team because i mean if you think about it obviously some people in the past have said i play this this is like my rent money but to the people who actually win this money it's like that money should go back to your team you know like it should be going into your team keeping them ready for next season like obviously when we were in the booth uh me and a couple of the guys were jokingly saying like yeah get people headsets get get ct a new pc like stuff like that but like I think to a certain point it could it could be serious you know 
Because oh, you, know, yeah. you wanna you wanna stay you wanna stay as a team. You wanna like team name, arc, other D, etc. They wanna be considered one of the best ever, and they already are. But if you can put the money into your team, then it's gonna expand your legacy in that sense. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And but I just think the money. I think the reason they brought the money prize because they, they wanted it to bring in a, a, a huge wave of players, like. Because mm-hmm. the money brings in, attracts in a lot of attention. I realized that yeah. uh, recently with the event I did locally. But I think the money is also the reason why we're having so many issues and so many people are nitpicking with everything. Um, with the, even with yeah. the, did you hear the drama? Were you, weren't you a part of the drama with the loser bracket or not the loser bracket, but the what? What, what, what is it called? The follow up bracket? The, the play in bracket. I still think it it can work, but it's it to me. Personally, I don't care what anybody else says, but to a certain point, it can be very ridiculous and stupid. Quite redundant, that. Because the way we had it last season is if you get knocked out of the playoffs, you get knocked out of the playoffs. The top four teams, whoever wins, goes to the final two. And then the last two battle it out to figure out, okay, that person is going to take third place. That's the consolation prize. That's your third place prize, right? Yeah. Do that instead. Don't give team... Well... Obviously, all these teams have worked their asses off to get where they are. Do not, I don't, I don't doubt that at all. But it's to the point of where like you got eliminated, so be it, right? I don't care. I, I, I could. This is coming from the most unbiased place possible. I don't care if it's Team D. I don't care if it's Other. I don't care if it's Onyx. I don't care if it's Team Name Arc. Any of those guys, Phoenix, whatnot. If they get eliminated out of the playoffs, so be it. You but shouldn't the, get the chance the beef, to play back in for the third place. I think the beef was is that they they uh, they did a type of uh, double elimination because I I looked into this and there I guess there's different multiple different types of a double elimination. I don't understand yeah. any of this bracket stuff, so whatever. Yeah, like and 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 uh, Lat said that he he brought it up at the beginning of the season. I never personally saw that, like at all. I mean, obviously I wasn't here for nah, the start, but I, I never saw him. You, I, did you? I have seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't understand yeah, it. But I know, I know it's been, only... I know it's been, a, it was going to be a double elimination mm-hmm. from the get go. I just didn't know what type of double elimination. Yeah, like the only person I saw really bring it up was Odd. You know, when we had the whole D controversy, Odd brought it up like, well, fine, if D is going to get into playoffs, then why don't we just have a double elimination? You know? Yeah. Because, I mean, everybody's going to get sweet by D. I mean, this is how it works. If D is out of the playoffs, team name is going to win. If team name is out of the playoffs, then D is going to win. It It's it's a battle of two giants. It's going to swing either way. So, I mean. So, I'm looking at it right now. What is it? What is loser of one, loser of two mean? And loser of I three is loser of four. I, I personally, uh, so I, uh, I, I honestly don't know. Right. I think it's the loser of the quarters, then the semis. And then so on and so forth. And then those, and then yeah, I still don't understand how that's gonna go. <laughs> I, I do not. Mm-hmm. I gotta. Find we will. S- we will. We will see what happens when it comes. Because Lat also said that if it does not go well and everybody doesn't like it and like how it works, then we will just you know not have it next season and we will play on as it was last. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing we gotta understand is like you gotta be very flexible you gotta some some mm-hmm. things are oh, yeah. out of the control to be able oh, to plan player. or not the player mm-hmm. but in general just like i've been there i've done it like once you get you think you have caught mm-hmm. everything and then once you get into the the, the nitty gritty finding out that you know oh shit, it's not just a radiator it's actually the transmission it's not just the transmission it's actually the pump oh damn it's actually this and that and the other and you start finding <laughs> stuff along yeah, the way yeah there's, there's thousands of little parts into it that that it comes all together to make one yeah. working well-oiled machine i'm looking at this too the, the players of those play against loser of eight and seven oh i don't know it's weird honestly i'm sure that they will figure it out and then something will come to some settlement but that's another thing you guys like that was my point is you got to be flexible you got to be willing to work with people but you also got to be uh willing to listen to other people and come to a con- con- um to a compromise because you can't just yeah. roll over people and make them feel like they're not being heard or not being oh, yeah. uh uh taken into consideration because yeah people make mistakes and people they always think the people making mistakes are doing it on purpose when they're not they're just mm-hmm. boxing but then at the same token there is some people doing shit that's funny and you're like fuck and when that get, people get away with that it makes 
them bitter towards other things. So everybody yeah, like, got to understand uh, everybody's point of view is my point. Everybody put your guns down. Yeah, Let's yeah, talk yeah. about this. <laughs> Calm the hell down. I mean, ever since I, I left the league, things have obviously changed. Yeah. What you do know? You mean? Such as? Well, I mean, I mean, when I when I came in in Season 0, Alpha 5, things were totally different with the playoffs and stuff, teams and everything. But now it's all changed, you know, three, four, yeah, three seasons deep from that. You know, for the for the better and some for the worse, depending on who you ask. I mean, to each their own, though. I think I think changes were made to try to even the mm-hmm. playing field. Yeah. Those even playing fields were not achieved. Mistakes were yes. making. People's yes. feelings were hurt. Everybody will be oh, over it, much. and the people who mm-hmm. are over it will come back next year. And the people who are not won't be. It's that simple. It's just yeah. you gotta. If that's what I always tell people, make decisions you're willing to stand by. That way, when if they don't go right, if they go right, great. If they don't go right, hey, that was my decision. I stand by it. Yep, yep. You know, I have a bad attitude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I sometimes <laughs> piss people off. I sometimes apologize for my actions. Sometimes I don't. You just... Yeah. What's wrong with yeah. being real, LBS? Why can't you be real with people? Just be like, yo. I know, right? That's what That's what we're just missing in society in general, but in this league, period. You know, some people can voice their opinions, but then obviously everybody comes from the most biased standpoint and opinions like, no, 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 this, that, and a third. Everybody's biased to to a certain point. Nobody cannot be unbiased. I mean, I mean, okay, they said that the ruling committee was the most unbiased people you could find because they never played in the league. They've never dealt with any of the drama, etc. And I, I, I think that the ruling committee should have stayed, honestly. That's the entire point ruling committee they had the final decision upon everything i definitely think there were some flaws in the system but i think that the ruling committee's decision should have been final Mm -hmm. when it was made you know but obviously some people have their ways of changing things even though the ruling committee was supposed to have the final decision but that's all in the past and you know that happened and so be it i'm not the most upset about it i've kind of moved on past it i've been just watching the playoffs supporting the teams i do you know just calling it a day on that i definitely stand with you on that um you know i'm biased obviously i i want to be in playoffs but i also think yeah. that the ruling committee like you said was pretty neutral and they made a decision and regardless of what people thought it should have just stand and then fix the yeah. next season but it yeah. didn't so like i tell like i like i said on the match on the cast uh you know you have your you have your point of view you have your arguments you lost the fight all right move on you can either yeah i mean i am away or i'm move, literally or, or, or work, <laughs> yeah. work with you know full yeah. steam ahead. yeah i mean i am literally the most i think i'm probably one of the most biased people you can ever find from that standpoint having the connections i do in the league so i mean you know my opinion is gonna stand the same you know forever in any context and obviously everybody's going to agree and or disagree with that come at me for my opinions and what i think about the entire situation but it it's whatever honestly i just chose to be the bigger man in the situation yeah man for the most part i'm so biased i took people's uh (laughs) audio and i and i edited it so (laughs) i can use it against it (laughs) for 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 my good all right allegedly allegedly i did allegedly (laughs) nothing's for sure uh but yeah it, it is it is what it is man i bring it up like yeah. that because it I, I you know it is it's, it's still sore yeah i i mean but I'm, yeah. I'm still happy that we're here where we're at mm-hmm. and the playoffs is still going on and people are excited oh, yeah. and we got great teams going on it sucks the quarters with mm-hmm. corner fighters with the way they did because uh we didn't have yeah. any control points but you know the competition yeah. is competition mm-hmm. oh yeah for sure those, those top four teams are always those far top four teams, except Onyx. Onyx kind of came out and over. Yeah, you know, honestly, I think I'm, I'm very glad with what Classic has done with the team. You know, you know, I'm I, I told all of Onyx, you know, like as as a one second. Uh, Okay, yeah, no, but as I was saying, you know, I told Classic and all of Onyx as a, as a family, you know, like, 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 you guys have come so far to achieve what you have, you know, back from season zero when the team completely split, but we stayed in the community, mm-hmm. you know, just work your hardest and bring the trophy home. 
you know like literally all of the top four teams minus onyx are the exact same for the past what year two years it's been the exact same minus d they're the only team that hasn't been there yeah 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 d was that that's 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 who was would have been there if uh i think if d was in playoffs it would have been the top lineup minus onyx and with d but you know yeah mm -hmm. because uh that's just the way it's been that's the way I, i've known it to be since i've been casting this yeah i mean whether <laughs> whether you just whether you agree or disagree from your standpoint of your team being a top 10 you you have to give d their props every single time yeah they've done they've, they've proven it like it's like they the have patriots. time and I don't time like again the patriots. i don't like them but they have so many i don't like the lakers but they have their championships have so many it. yeah no and reco is the reco is the greatest of all time you know yes and and moon is second and and you know koala is starting to make his way up there at at, at some point reco is not going to be the greatest anymore but he's still going to be in contention for one of the greatest you know and i think once he retires then we can open up the hall of dash and you know the the dash league hall of fame will finally start to be a thing <laughs> for sure it's obviously it's obviously a joke idea but still a very very well option i don't see why factor. not i don't see why not yeah, i think I if we could convince if we could convince garbage man to come back into it he could definitely create something in um in out space oh yeah oh yeah for sure um well well yes hmm? uh what else do you want to talk about like since since this since the last time we spoke on here to now you know oh man oh, oh man i actually watched that interview back i think about a month ago jesus h man the, the amount of change honestly i can reflect back on the time of my life when i came in thinking i was the hottest shit possible the hottest rookie on the market you know going to tbdi holding out like like any rookie does on a contract or signing with a team joining onyx then not feeling it after we disbanded and then you know retiring coming back a few times playing for teams didn't really play any matches but i was still there you know but yeah. uh, there is a lot of maturity and there is a lot of increase in skill i would say compared to what i used to be you know like i'm i'm just i'm just happy with what it is right now you know like I came back, a team gave me a shot because you know I've I have a track history sometimes in the league of like not being the most trustable player because in the past I you know I didn't want to play. I, I would leave my team on on standby, you know, like leave my team completely, not let them know what's going on. You ghosting you know? your team, man? Yeah, I use I, I think I ghosted one or two teams. I think even some of the teams I tried starting, I ghosted them completely. Wow yeah i know what was that Dick about move, why would you do obvious. that i like i said i really wasn't feeling it i mean i i i got i put so much on my plate that i couldn't finish it all use it all i couldn't do anything with it all now obviously being the captain and the coach for my team i have a lot of stuff on my plate but i've learned how to deal with it now so i've changed in a lot of ways as a player and as a captain you know mm -hmm. i've i've done a lot for my team in in a season you know i joke being captain or coach of the year obviously half the time but i think there's definitely some stature behind that oh, in, yeah. in, a, in a in a good amount of ways i mean trust me 1v makers percent you know they could obviously win those uh coach of the year awards and i'd be fine those are dudes i respect without a shadow of a doubt like I would be fine with them winning it, no doubt. But if 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 I I think if it's someone else that came in, that ha to a certain point hasn't done as much work as I have for my team, with the so short of period I have been on a veteran team, then I would be upset. That's the only time that I would have an issue with it. Otherwise, I don't. You know, like I respect all the captains in the captains chat. I respect everybody. You know, we've all put in the work, and obviously it sounds me, makes me sound like a dick, but I've, I've done a lot. I really have in only less than a season. These teams have been playing together since release, you know, a lot of these teams, the newer guys who didn't
quite know the game as much and didn't play in the league before you know it's official release so in some aspects i have more experience but these guys are so new these guys are these guys are obviously rookies this is their first season they've done incredible jobs majority of them i don't doubt that you know there's just some some areas that it it changes the the playing field a little bit with affiliations and experience Oh yeah, but the thing is, is you you don't gotta worry about those awards, man. You don't need awards yeah. to tell you that you've done great. Oh yeah, because the problem is no, with like... some awards, they're popularity t- contests, and with mm-hmm. other ones, even if you think I deserve this and you do deserve it, you might not get it because you. Yeah. Were, but there's somebody that outworked you. No, no, no. Don't don't I, I, don't don't uh, don't get me wrong on that. I I I say it as a joke, and I think if I don't get it, I'm fine with it. Yeah. You know, comeback player of the year, coach of the year, captain of the year. It's fine if I don't get those. But that doesn't mean that that won't be a driving force into coming back next season and really laying it all out on the field with my team. We lay it out every single time and we're going to do it time and time again. We're going to run through our opponents, you know, with ease and precision. We have a lot of players that are increasing in level and we have a few new guys that are coming in eventually. And this team is going to be something to watch next season. Like, like we've been saying this whole season, we are something we are forced to be reckoned with. Like, do not doubt Supernova's power as a team. Our teamwork is very strong. Dope. And uh, what do you? What about if uh, other leagues start to pop up next season? You, you think you're gonna join Ooh. those leagues too? Um, I haven't been in the TDM, CTF league, etc. If there is a league that has the same competition as this one would, with more money, uh, there's a possibility. You know. Obviously, anybody could come over if they want, but that's obviously a decision for me and my captains to make, not just me as a person, Yeah, you know, because I can't be the driving decision, even though I do make a lot of the calls on my team. That's that's a serious situation that I do have to talk to Boydo and Yeet Kid about. Okay. Why? Why is that? I don't know. It's just I don't think I should have the say in such a serious matter of taking our team from a league that we are finally starting to be something in to a brand new league where we're a brand new team obviously we have the opportunity depending on how many people would be in it if it happens to be one of the best in the league you know we it's 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 a jump from being mediocre to the ability to be the best we can but obviously we're leaving a lot of stuff behind the matches the history the people, etc. If we do make such a massive jump, why is that? Like, and do you it's, think the history just be erased? Do you think it just be uh, it'll be gone, or I just think those teams that jump obviously won't be forgotten, but they'll be less favored and less remembered. Obviously, I think what would be really cool is if there's like a new league and uh, there's rivalry between both leagues. You know, that that would be something that's really cool. I think eventually. No matter if there's shoot off leagues or whatever, everybody's gonna come back to Dash League eventually. Yeah. I don't think there's a doubt about it. As long as this stays fun and bright mm-hmm. and different and, and, and Yeah, and everybody and has flexible, a good time. Everybody has a good time. If, 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 if not then if something else comes along that meets those criteria, who knows? Yeah. But you know, it is what it is. What about what about outside of uh Hyper Dash and Dash League? What else you got going on, LBS? I've got work, I've got you know my personal health stuff I take care of I'm just chilling honestly I mean I've I've been working on school etc brainstorming ideas like strategies you know stuff like that I, I I've got a coach and a captain's mind all in one so you know I I think about strategies a playbook etc not like the compendium as some would say but just a spe- well, it's technically like that—a specialized strat book for our team. But something I could whip out, like I could call a strat, and we know exactly what we're gonna do, and go do that, and we can swap up at any time and change it on the fly. And nobody sees it coming. So that's kind of that's what I've been working on. It's a, it's a long process, but I have three months to do it. So I've I've got the time, I've got the energy. Luckily, thank God, and I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, man, take advantage of that youth. <laughs> Yeah. Take advantage Hell of that yeah. youth, man. It, every, some people think I'm older than I am, man. 
It's like, just it's just that people talk mature and talk like that. They, you're not used to. Oh I, yeah, you know, very I, much I, so. I still talk like a child. I still sound like an idiot, but that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm all fine with mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I like sounding. Like yeah, like I I turn I turn 18 this month, but you know I I watched the interview back then and I think of myself in the past sense in a in a past tense. And the maturity level and the growth as a person and a player ha is is definitely there. Obviously, I still have that sporadic, somewhat cocky energy about me, and I I want to fight, I want to challenge. So long as the person isn't pressing me about it, you know. But like that's that's why I like this league so much is the entertainment value of watching your matches back, studying your own film, studying your opponent weeks in advance, you know, learning them, being very precise with how you move your counter moves your dash paths your placements your everything as a team as a unit as an individual player you know there's a lot of precise mental work that goes into this game behind behind the the shield the the visor of a player you know oh, yeah. like something i learned is i i will occasionally go alias and i won't talk yeah i'll just play in silence i'll learn the mental aspect of the game I'll, I'll study in my opponents, you know, I, I, that's, I think that's what helped us so much is we would about, I, I think a week, week and a half prior to our match, we would watch our opponents previous games, we would study them, we would learn them, we would figure out how to counter them, how to play them, learn their weaknesses, learn their strengths, figure out whether it's a double or a single person situation, maybe more than that where you need to flank where you need to push you know all that sort of stuff yeah man it's a very precise calculation and that's why i think in the future it's gonna one of the updates are gonna have a hyper dash mode and dash league mode and that way you can play like fun yeah. casual way or you, you play in dash league mode then it's just gonna be all competition high stake yeah high level players <laughs> yeah i mean yeah i mean i take this i i i, I mean obviously it's a hobby to everybody but I treat my team like it's like it's a job, I guess you would say. I mean, obviously, I'm not getting paid for it, but I'm taking my time out of my schedule to work with my team and figure out everything with my with my personal life because <laughs> it's worth it to me. Yeah, it, it is a lot of work. You're right. It, 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 and it's kind of, a, you know, it's all encompassing the thing because not only are mm -hmm. you playing the game, you're, you're practicing the game, you're watching the game. It's kind of like, that's why I could, I couldn't be on a team, but I understand how much. Um, yeah, it's it's not for everyone. I, I, I kind of had to learn that too at first, you know, like I, I played with, with onyx and stuff i didn't really focus too terribly much on strats and stuff i just played for fun you know it just took a year's worth of growing up and maturing to realize you have to really grind for this you have to put in the work you have to learn the aspects you have to learn how to move and be precise with your your shots and everything there there's there's a lot of complicated factors into playing in the league and i don't think a lot of people realize it that aren't in the league exactly it's hard it's hard to understand, mm -hmm. but if you play any esport game, you would understand. Or if you watch any esport, oh, yeah. which is blowing up right mm -hmm. now, you would understand. And hopefully, we yeah, get like to I watch, I watch Call of Duty. I watch a uh, Call of Duty League. I watch Halo League. You know, I've I played both games. I wanted to go pro in both, so I had to learn a lot of stuff. And you know, I I kind of take aspects from different games or different sports and put them into my own weird, twisted way and use it to my advantage that's what you got that's what uh 1v has everybody doing no you guys you always yeah. all hey, hey, military, hey i don't know in military situations in military military situations i put myself through that stuff man you got you guys a whole he has a whole thing in the backyard no you guys go paintballing that's how you guys practice for matches <laughs> i think it's just I, I, eh, 1v doesn't have paintball in the back he'd shoot us all <laughs> Allegedly, he allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> All right, my man. Thank you so much, OBS, for going doing this Thanks. follow up with me. Uh, any last words? Any shout outs you want to give out, man? Shout out to you. Shout out to the league. You know, buy the damn merch. Yeah. Buy it. Hey, we need it. That's coming. From we need somebody. more representation. Well, I don't know if you should buy. It. I don't know, but, but if you like it, well, buy I mean, it. Go I mean, ahead. if you have, yeah, if you have my money, then by all means, go buy it. No, like. <laughs> 
shout out to my team, obviously, for giving me the opportunity. We're coming back stronger next season. I get to play my first official full season with the team. I was only two games off this last season. Ah, oh, what you happened? Know, we're, what we're, happened? I, I just I just came in uh, two cycles into the season. Okay. You know, like, I'm, I'm ready for the competition next year. Bring it on, man. I'm okay. ready to fight. Ready All to right. kick some ass. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Yeah. Let's see if you can at least fall at the top of one of the tiers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we, we slowly rose up from Walker to Dash. I mean, Sprinter. And we held that for a while. We held Sprinter for, I think, about two cycles at 19th. Uh, between 19th and 17th place. You know, we were very content. We were very happy with that. That's a, so good, that's a good place to plan. It's only up from here. Only room for improvement from here. For real. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we, we'll see what's going to happen finally. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen. I don't want to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, everything you, you got through, we got to get through, and all the good stuff. Uh, shout outs to you, and good luck next season. Uh, shout First, out to all you. the teams in the playoffs. I appreciate mm -hmm. all the your guys' effort, all the all the matches and the I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good show. And when you give us a good show, it makes me look good. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everybody <laughs> liking and subscribing and commenting and all that good stuff, getting of us up in the ranks. We're trying to get those numbers up so be, that we can get the polls back. We can get all the good stuff back that we can have stuff fun in the channel. Shout outs to all the Dashers who have been on the Dasher series. If you guys want to be on it, hit me up. Uh, you know, just as long as you play the game, mm -hmm. we could talk. We could talk. It's, it's no big deal. You don't have to be nervous. Shout outs to the board yeah. for all the crap that they do and all the things that they do. Uh, we really do appreciate it and all the things you do. I'm sure people understand it, even though they don't say it. I'm pretty sure they understand it. Uh, shout outs to the sponsors, all of you, because of you. You know we have this huge pot and we have all these resources and things going on so thank you so much um <laughs> shout outs to the staff that helps me get make this show look good and all shows look good and help me with the you know drones and everything thank you so much to everybody shout outs to hh shout outs to all the donators because of you you got stickers lanyards and magnets still available and decals we got decals we're giving away decals now so we got those Ooh, we're giving them away hit me up all right until then, we're going to get the hell out of here. Stay tuned next weekend for semifinals, and then we're going to have finals soon. I don't know when it is. They keep changing it on me, so it's soon. But semifinals <laughs> is next weekend. Other than that, I don't know anything. Foul contest still going on. Link not in this description, but if you watch a matchup, you'll see it in that description. So make sure you check it out. But that's it. Any last words, LBS? Peace. Peace.